Hey guys, in this video, we're going to go, going to create a basic level up system, or so you can say progression system in Unity by using Loop Locker. I'm feeling lazy to record it, but I'm still doing it. So give a like. Here we're going to add a basic uh, level systems which is going to look something like this. We can just play this. We have login it automatically lock in it. Okay. And we got level and XP here. And we have a give XP option here where we can give some XP and submit it. So this is going to update according to it. Okay, that's it. So these are both different canvas. Login has different canvas and XP level has different canvas. We have a game manager that handles everything for, for me. Okay. Before we implement the actual uh, by coding, we need to implement a level system. We need to first set up things on the loot locker side. So go back to your browser and go back to your system. In system, just select the progressions. And if you go progression, you can see there are a for your, if you open in this first time, you got empty thing. You don't going to get any things. So if you don't go in. You need to go uh, find the option called add level if you click on this add level this is going to add a new level for me this is level 30 and you can give some kind of exit for like 8000 and click on the save all this is going to save everything you can make changes in this page so we have a 13 levels i have some thresholds so you can threshold as well the minimum value need to be have to get this level so i need a 100 xp to have on the level of one minimum okay so these are the level thresholds so after doing this you are already go you have set on the big progressions levels different level setups now you need to set this from in the code okay so let's go back in unity and i'm going to game manager and open up the game manager scripts the game manager you need to first make sure you are using a loot docker dot request and also I'm using some TMP text so I'm using TMP Pro and I don't know why there is a system but it is not uh, some is high, and also is highlighted so it's maybe somewhere using somewhere it's used so I don't know where but okay so but we have uh, two variables for the text level text and XP text and XP field you uh, the field that you saw we written is give XP so we also need that in order to get XP now we first need to get xp because it's very important to first we get xp and then setting set it so like when you play the game you need to first show the xp of the player okay when you play so we have get xp in the get xp we're going to use the loot locker sdk manager okay and then from this we're going to use the get player info there's a one more option called get xp and level but if you use this function nothing going to happen okay i use the function and for some reason nothing going to happen maybe i'm wrong at that side but okay use the get player info to in order to get the xp and level you can Okay, so then we go in the brackets. We need to give an action uh, here. Simply the lambda function. If the response is success is not a successful, then return it. If it's successful, then we need to fetch the lever and XP. If you look here, I'm using a simple dangerous, uh, very weird, right? Weird, th weird things are very weird, weird things. Okay, so we have uh, something called conditional statement here, a question mark and a semicolon okay so basically this is the tertiary operator if it's simply the uh, in most simpler word this is a shorthand method of writing if else condition i'm feeling lazy to write the if else condition here so i've just used a tertiary operator here so what you're going to do if, if it has a first it has a condition if this condition is true then level going to be going to be equal to the this variable or if not then this is going to be equal to this that's the simple but for some reason if you write this simply write this uh code going to be throws a year on you so and then we also recommend me to doing add a typecast int i don't know why but it's still telling me to type i read a typecast in 32 it's, it's it's still a 32 int by here this in 32 i don't know why it's saying me but this field studio said me to do this i'm doing it so no more questions okay and then same goes for the xp1 we're going to have small conditioning if this condition is 2 then response dot xp going to xp going to equal to the response xp or else 0 now main thing here when your player first time play or your xp point is 0 the root locker will going to return you null and just makes to null means nothing it does not mean 0 for common if i tell you if you think a null going to return you 0 but no null and 0 are two different things null has nothing no value and but zero has 
value which means that zero has some value even he had no value but still has some value okay you need to understand this thing null has no value and zero has some value even he has no value in the real maths but it has some value here so make sure you just check whether it's null okay that's why i'm checking it's null or not if it's null then return simply zero then we're going to be uh make sure we're going to set the tax according to level so level is equal to level and xp is going to be xp after doing this you have your function called complete you just need to call this function now you can call wherever if you want you can call this function after login or you can call this function on the update if you wanted to blow your users phones or pc computer any device you can call this function like also on updates i okay so there's no restriction on where you want to call it so after going down to unity if you play it it's still going to be returning uh it's going to return me a zero because my player does not have uh, any XP or level right now. So let's work on giving some XP. Back to the uh, Visual Studio and we got submit XP function. I make this public. So okay, so I'm going to call this function from outside of the script. So we have an integer and we go, this is going to be equal to the XP field dot text. Okay, so now XP field text going to return a string, so we need to convert into the integers. So I'm going to integer thirty two dot first. So this is going to convert the uh, integers, and now it's going to use as uh, XP. So, so we're going to be submit this XP. Uh, um, okay, submit this XP here and do a small lambda function. And if response is successful, we're going to be update the XP by using a get XP. And also for my satisfaction, for my setting side, so I'm going to just give a debug dot log done. And that's all. That simple is submitting an XP. Now you can call this function anywhere you want. You can call the XP when you play just give it a hex dot. Or from here, I'm just calling this function on a button. So we have a give XP button and I'm calling this function here. Okay, we can see here. And now if I play this game, uh, wait for some time. Let's give some XP called 50. And okay, I'm going to give a submit here. Yeah, XP got updated from 50. So but our task minimum task all for level one is hundred. So let's give it another fifty and submit. For some update we got level one XP hundred. Let's give it some huge XP because our player did nothing. So give submit. Now our player is on the level ten with five thousand one hundred XP. So that's how you can create a basic level up system in your game. If you wanted to look on the this XP on the server side, you can actually go to the your dashboard go to your player and loading recent players okay and then select the player any player and progressions and here look we got experience point which is same as this and you can also give extra xp if you want and also go, want to reset xp if you want to reset the xp of the player you can also reset from it here okay i'm not doing this right now so that's it that's it how you can implement a very basic level up system in your unity and this is simple as it if you want to add some rewards you can also add the rewards if you want and thanks for watching and if you really like this video subscribe to the channel okay, and literally i'm dying right now because i turn off my fan as you know and you know what if i turn off and this is the summer season going on so you can understand my condition how i'm recording this video that's why i don't want to record this video but that's my first beginning but somehow i'm recording this video so please like this video and if you and I'm going to see you in the next video. Till then, bye.